Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make this video because I see other influencers and they actually motivate me. If I make this video, I might motivate somebody else who's struggling or who doesn't have the courage to start like being healthy and trying to do trying to better themselves. Okay, so this is how I motivate myself after having my baby, but it doesn't necessarily have to be like after you have a baby, you could have no kids and still need motivation or have three kids and need motivation. So I know every situation is different, but I know there's always a way to exercise, to eat better. It, you just have to you just have to do it. You just have to have the courage to do it. It's not easy, I know, but we all start somewhere. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is have your mindset on a realistic goal. I myself, I've always been petite. I'm five feet and I've always been like 110, 120. So I've always been small and I actually struggle to gain weight when I want to gain like healthy weight. It's hard for me. So I've always been petite, but I've always also been active. Like I love dancing. I love going to the gym like if i don't go to the gym i will literally be in a bad mood like i'll be a freaking grinch that's just me i've always been like that i've been going to the gym for years so my mind before was going to the gym just to burn the calories of what i ate or the to burn off the liquor so i think that's why i never really gained weight but now realistically speaking my goal is to have the best body i've ever had meaning i'm trying to eat better um, I'm trying to like exercise and like drink my protein and like I don't weigh my food I don't track my macros like I don't do none of that because I feel like that's just too much for me Plus, I don't even know how to do it, but eventually I know I'll get there every morning I try to chug a water bottle um, and that just gets your metabolism going Okay, so number two if you fail keep going there's no wrongdoing here. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You're going to be on a diet, freaking pig out Sunday night, or even the second day after you start your diet. I mean, who cares? It's your diet. You do the best you can. If you fail, it's all right. Tomorrow's another day. Start all over. The key here is not to give up. Don't say like, fuck, I already, I already fucked up my diet. Like, fuck this. No. Start the next day. But don't make excuses either. Number three, do it for yourself. So back then I used to do it because I wanted to look good on my clothes. I mean, obviously that's a motivational thing to do. You want to look good, feel good. But do it for yourself. Don't do it to impress others. Don't do it because you're in competition with a bitch you don't like or a fucking ex of your man or whatever. No. Or for your man. I mean, mainly do it for yourself. And if you're in a relationship and you want to feel your man to be like super attracted to you, whatever. Um, yeah, do it for them too. Like, I'm doing it for myself. I'm not doing it to fucking stunt on hoes or fucking try to get guys. No. Doing it for myself, for me, mentally. Like, I want to look good, feel good. And second, for my son. Like, I don't want my son to, like, grow up and feel like, fuck, mom, like, you're fat. I don't know. Not shaming anybody. But, I don't know. I just do it for myself and for my son. Also, do it for your health. Uh, I've noticed since I've had my baby... I can't, I mean, before, yeah, I would notice, but now that I feel so much more drained because I have a son, and it's just me right now, I'm not a single mom, but at the moment, it's just me with the baby, and it's so freaking draining, and I have noticed 100% when I follow, like, a semi-healthy diet, I have a little bit more energy, I have actually a lot more energy than when I eat really bad, like, fucking chips, tacos, like a whole weekend when I freaking slack, I feel like shit. I'm so tired and I feel bad like that makes me feel like I'm not being 100% for my kid. Like I could be taking him on walks, but I'm so tired and so grouchy that I just want to watch a movie. That type of motivation works for me. So do it for yourself, your health, your baby, your man, for a good reason. But if you really want to stunt on a fucking hoe or your ex and that's super motivation for you, then fucking get it, girl on them hoes number four be content with your progress like it's not gonna happen overnight it might not happen in a month or two months it's gonna take time so just be content with your progress take progress pictures for sure I don't really look at the scale because my weight li literally is the same I see results like in muscle like I've been going to this like fitness I mean this um hit class 
like high intensity type of class with weights and look at this like my mom I've been going for like what two three weeks and like I already feel a difference so take progress pictures I mean if you want to do the weight if you're gonna track your if you want to track your macros do all that but be content with your progress and it will get better also go at your own pace like don't try to rush this no just go at your own pace and it will happen trust me number five find time for yourself as a mom it's so freaking hard my baby wants to look <laughs> as a mom it's so freaking hard to find time for myself like it's just hard bitch like if you're a mom you know what the fuck i mean especially with my my baby daddy not being around fuck i don't know how the fuck i do it like i did my makeup right now super quick when he was taking a nap you will master it but it takes time so make time for yourself um if you can get help get us whatever help you can get take it um my in-laws help me a lot my family helps me a lot so whenever they watch them then i'll be at that's all i do like whenever they watch them I don't go out to eat, I don't do any. I don't go shopping, no, I go straight to the freaking gym. Because that's my sanity, that's what keeps me stress free and it just makes me feel good. Don't make excuses also. Yeah, like, oh, it's my time, I don't want to go to the, I don't want to spend it at the gym. Well, okay, it's your time, what, what are you investing in, in your time that's going to benefit you in the long run? Just find time for yourself, use that time productively, I mean, clean the house fucking dance while you're cleaning i don't know like just burn some calories that's number six in my list use the workout as your time to burn like to get rid of stress burn calories for your own sanity you will feel good trust me you work out really hard you burn all those calories you get home fucking tired you're gonna feel good you're gonna be like damn like it's gonna motivate you number seven follow motivational people on social media stop following like those freaking well, I mean, follow whoever the fuck you want to follow. But for me, I stop following, like, people that don't say anything beneficial for me. Like, I follow people who motivate you to do better. <laughs> who motivate you to do better. When you look at your phone, when you look at your feed, like, healthy food. Like, videos of them working out, videos of them dancing, videos of them fucking hiking. Like, that's gonna make you, like, be like, oh, I want to try that, or... Look at that workout. I want to try next time I go to the gym. You know, even their body, like, you look at their body and you're like, damn, I want my ass to look like that. Like, or I want my abs to look like that. Just follow motivational people. It's going to make a difference. Number eight. Um, I didn't really believe this, but now I do. Have a daily reminder that you can and you will accomplish your goal. Um, it could be a screensaver. It can be a picture of you back in high school when you were skinny as fuck. Something that's going to remind you that you you can keep going that you will keep going and you will get there number nine there's always room for improvements don't think because you're seeing a difference stay at that pace no once you see a difference once you master whatever obstacle you had push harder get a bigger goal that's how you're really gonna see a difference nobody's gonna hand anything to you unless you have fucking money and you can get your fucking body done just challenge yourself i know you can do it it's just you need to mainly motivate yourself, starting with yourself. Like, don't get discouraged. Like, I say like a lot, sorry. Don't get discouraged. Work on it on your own, mentally first, then physically. Like, legit, I'm doing a workout and my bar my legs are, like, shaking. And mentally, I'm like, no, bitch, you can do it. You can fucking do it if you give up your pussy. Literally, those are, like, my motto words. Like, that's how I motivate myself. Once you finish it, drop to the floor, fucking cry if you fucking want to cry. But you're going to feel so good, I promise. Maybe you're not working or not, school or not, find time for yourself. Invest in yourself. A better you will mean a happier, happier life. It will mean everything, bitch. Trust me. I hope this video motivated some of you, if not all of you. My baby's looking at me. He's been so good in this video. I think I'm motivating him to walk because... I think he's he wants to crawl already so this is my baby say hi to the camera right there say hi so this cuteness came out of me and he's my motivation to do better in life not just physically not just looking good feeling good but also financially it's motivating me to do a lot of things so 
find motivation guys and you can do it so thank you for watching this video if you like it give it a thumbs up but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you next time